child did not like looking in the mirror. They hated what looked back at them. They hated how it made them feel. One somber Sunday morning, Ella reached her wit's end and angrily struck the mirror. But the glass did not shatter. It simply sucked Ella inside, pulling them into an alternate universe full of dangerous and peculiar creatures. Was this real? Was it a dream? In this world, Elle found a girl and a boy sat on an isolated window ledge. And beside them sat a smiling demon, shrouded in darkness. It claimed to be a friend, one who could end their pain should they wish it. The girl spoke first. I don't want to hate what I see in a mirror anymore, she cried. And in a flash, the girl's eyes melted from her face. You tricked me, she screamed, as she ran into the forest searching for a way home. But she could not find one, for she was not used to being blind. So the monsters in the forest caught her and caught her up into tiny little pieces. Then the smiling demon clapped his hands and cackled. There, your pain has ended. Undeterred by this, the teenage boy spoke next. I don't want to think bad thoughts anymore, he said. And in a flash, the boy's mind grew silent. Without a word, he ran into the forest searching for a way home. But he could not find one, for his mind could no longer think which way to go. So, the monsters in the forest caught him and cut him up into tiny little pieces too. And the smiling demon clapped his hands once more and said, There, your pain has ended. Reluctantly, and riddled with fear, Elle took a rattled breath and spoke last. I wish this place never existed, they said. But that will not save you, replied the smiling demon. You will still hate what you see in the mirror. Your bad thoughts will still tear you down. I know, replied Elle. Now, grant me my wish. The smiling demon began to cry, and his tears became the rain, and the rain soaked the monsters down into death. Of the girl and the boy nursing them to life, and the rain became a river, and the river swept the three teenagers home. Once home, Elle turned to the mirror and thought about what the smiling demon had said. They still hated what looked back at them. They still hated how it made them feel. But now they knew that out there was a girl who felt the same way, and out there was a boy who felt the same way too. Ultimately, in that moment, they realized they were no longer alone. And neither are you.